guys, I'm Layla. We are talking some raid today. So today we're talking about a duo team for stage 25. Sand Devils Necropolis only takes two to be able to run that. And it's going to be Mother Cybel and Gorlos Helma. So do you want to point out this is going to be a speed tuned team? Do you want them tanky? You need 500 plus accuracy on Gorlos for this to work. And regen gear kind of basically is like a must on this. So let's check this out. We are going to start with Mother Cybel. So again, basically what I just said is that, you know, we want regen gear. So you are going to see she's in regen and immortal. No, you know, specialty gear other than that. And we're going to check out the stats. Now we do also have Sand Devil here as well too so we'll see if we have any bonus which we do not and that's fine so with mom we call mother cyber mom she has 77,000 hp 2,000 attack 4,300 on the defense 280 on speed we're not worried about her crit rate and crit damage she has 230 resistance and 191 accuracy so what's important with her is she's here because we want her revive right so with her she is a fully booked it looks like right fully booked yep and then even though she has a speed or of ally speed all battles by 24 percent we're not going to put her in lead because it'll mess up the speed tune but what we want from her is this is we want the soul shepherd a revive on death and increase defense buff for two turns so she has to be fully booked for this to work and like i said it's going to be a speed tune comp as well now mastery she's not fully mastered because you don't necessarily need her to be for this but we go down the defense and the support with her t6 being iron skin which gives her added defense okay so this team we want her booked all right next is going to be gorlos helma so same thing is he's in a regen set except this time he is going to be your damage dealer too right so we are going to want some you know perception gear on him too because we are going to want some accuracy to be landing on him other than that you know we don't have anything special here but let's check him out and see if he has anything extra for sand devil he doesn't which is okay because he's got 48 and a half thousand hp 2600 attack 3600 defense 159 speed not too worried about the crit damage crit rate we have 257 resistance a 564 on the accuracy now with him i'm assuming a fully booked which is true so his abilities this is what we're gonna see here is his a1 is hungry shops fills the turn meter if the targets under decrease defense hp burn and decrease accuracy and then we have raging hunger which does a decreased defense it's an aoe which doesn't really matter in this case but again a decreased defense is great and then gnashing fangs we do hp burn and decrease accuracy fills his turn meter by 20 percent okay so this is going to be his skill base now for masteries again you're gonna see he's not fully mastered and that's okay the idea was basically to get him some to get him to his t6 which we see defense and support and then we have eagle eye at accuracy plus 50. all right so this showcase is gonna be courtesy of david thank you very very much all right so also important note is they can't have turn meter masteries it messes up the speed tune as well so keep that in mind if you are building this you don't want anything that affects the turn meter for the masteries so i'll show you guys the masteries again for basically what we have and why david kind of like skipped around on some of them just to get to the t6 so that's gorlos and i'll show you moms one more time Ali, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. So there it is. Just so you guys can see that. And on that note, let's go run a Sand Devil. All right, guys, here we are. So we're in Sand Devil 25, and you're going to see that we have, so we got Mother Cybel and Gorlos. And I just want to point out that the reason Mother Cybel isn't in lead is because this team is speed tuned again, right? We had already seen that. So if we put Mom in lead, it kind of messes with the speed tune. So in that case, we're going to keep her second, even though Gorlos his ally attack of doom tower doesn't help here also at the time of this recording we are doing cvc so i am going to click super raids which even if it wasn't cvc you know just running this faster does help so let's hop on in so this is sand devil 25 and let's watch our little dynamic duo do their job that's okay they pop right back up and now he's snoozing So we knew that was going to happen. First wave, right? Knocks him down, but then mom picks him right back up. 
There it is. And then they're back up again. And you guys see why this is speed tuned then because we expect him to basically one shot them. They drop and we need mom's pickup, right? Like we need her B res, I like to call them B reses, back up on them so they pop right back up at that time. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Who's just like, thanks, mom. And up they go. Look at that duo. Okay. And he slumbers. Okay, we're fine. B res on both. They wipe and they pop right back up. He has tell. Yep. And so again, we are recording this live on Twitch. And as you guys saw too, those of you guys on YouTube is, yeah, they both have to be in region. Twitch chat's like, we love you, mom. We do. Mother's thigh bowl. She rocks. God love mom. So even Mother's Day, we love our moms, our raid moms. Oh, there we go. And they're up again like Daisies. So we're getting to the halfway point. Not there yet. And we're at the two-minute mark, though. Okay. This will work on other stages as well, too. Drop down and up they go. Okay, so now we're at about the halfway mark. It was a little past two minutes. <laughs> nice. So let's see what the time will end up being. I'm curious to see if we can get a, uh, a new time on this. Okay, we're at about two and a half minutes. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. I hope you're well. Fun fact, I guess a quiz for those of you guys watching on YouTube. That follow sound that you heard, the woo woo. Anybody know what game that comes from? Drop me a comment down below in the description, in the comments there. If you know what game that comes from. If you know me well enough, you'll know. So guys, for what you see here, there are some necessary stats, right? So this, other than having them be speed tuned, is they both need to have a 500 plus accuracy. Well, particularly like on Gorlo, so he needs like 500 plus accuracy is what he needs to have on here. And we do want them tanky, which was why you know we talk about them both being in regen. Okay. And the wipe. <laughs> that is true. At the time of this recording, 2x voids and 10x Charmander this weekend. 10x Charmander. <laughs> you know, that makes me think of somebody here is going to laugh. I never played like the old school Pokemon. So I had started playing it. I just caught a Pikachu. I was like just in the beginnings of playing. And Charmander is the Pokemon I chose. So I have a Charmander. I caught a um, Caterpie, right? The Caterpillar. They caught a Weeble. I caught, I caught the version where they just like keep armoring themselves right before they, as they're turning into like a moth. I caught that one. I caught a Ratatata. And then I got a Pokemon Pikachu. I was very excited. All right. So this took a four and a half minutes to do. Look how much damage we have on Gorlos. 4.8 mil. Guys, drop some comments down below. Are you still running Sand Devil Necropolis? I would assume so because now with the whole, you know, we have Marius in the game now too, right? And some of the missions to get him includes getting some of these oils from the Sand Devil. Drop some comments down below what teams you're running. You know, do you have some duo teams yourself? And thanks for watching.